This is another look at the International Space Station earlier today flying over Typhoon Zuli. And the Joint Typhoon Warning Center in its advisory indicates that Zuli had a 40 nautical mile but ragged eye. And welcome to another update on one or two typhoons now in the Westpac line of Force 13. And here's some uh, floaters on the system. Typhoon Zulik is 25 decimal 7 degrees north. 136 decimal 5 degrees east. It's got winds of 90 knots and central pressure is 955 millibars. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has it at 5.62 nautical miles southeast of Sasebo, Japan, tracking westward at 10 knots. And this is their information over the last six hours. And wave height is 33 feet. And shortly, the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's current chart. Microwave imagery shows a central dimple feature. Another image depicts a wide eye surrounded by deep convection. The current intensity is assessed at 90 knots. At the high end of the multi agency BOAC, constantly intensity estimates ranging from T4.5 to T5.0 or 77 to 90 knots. Now, here's the joint uh, correction the JMA's track, and they have it dropping down to 950 millibars. Reduced outflow has led to gradual weakening despite low vertical wind shear and warm sea surface temperatures at 27 to 29 Celsius. Typhoon 22 is tracking westward under the steering influence of a subtropical wind to the north. Over the next 48 hours, the typhoon will continue to track west to west northwest along the southern periphery of the Searing Ridge to the north. After 48 hours, the cyclone will begin turning northward as it rounds the steering axis. And here's a look at the upper level divergence across uh, both systems. And I did cite early today. Uh, where Typhoon Cinnamon is around 60 knots. The latest wind shear and it's more favourable for Typhoon Sawlink at this point in time. We will continue to bring the latest information on both systems. Here's the uh, shear tendency.
and the eighth pretty minibar vorticity model spread at 72 hours the intensity forecast is in 10 is hedge above the intensity consensus placed close to the HWRF solution which predicts slight intensification between 24 and 48 hours now we have a look at the pivotal weather website it's a GFS precipitation model and whilst the scale is at the bottom of the screen what I look for is the area in yellow through to dark brown You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.